what's up YouTube um well today I uh sorry I'm so late with the vid um I went to the pool today and I just kinda lost lost, uh, lost track of time and that's why my hair looks so weird because I had to put it up in a bun when I went swimming because I couldn't really do handstands in the water with my hair in my face I got a lot of hair and it's kind of annoying um there's really nothing for me to talk about today, but I did what any good YouTuber would do, and I made up a little topic topic to talk about everybody, to talk about with everybody. And so today we are going to talk about family. Now, okay, right. so how, how many of you guys out there have had your parents, your mom, your dad, your other guardians, maybe, yell at you, get make you get in trouble, um, ground you, not let you go places, or even, or even just completely, totally flip out and, and completely crazily make you go straight to your room and never come out for another million years. Pretty much it flips out. I know I have. My mom does that an awful lot because I'm not the best ever. But, you know, that's just me. Well, I kind of wanted to talk about why they do that. You see, your family, they just really want to help you. And, you know, they can't help you if, if you don't let them. And never stay mad at them when they do get mad at you because... I mean, they're the only family you have. And they just want you to be the best you that you can be. They want you to grow up and be happy. They want you to be able to live. That's what most families want. But if your family doesn't care about you honestly, and honest to God, I pray for you. And I'm very sorry. But you can still listen to this video if you want to. Because I do have friends. I have this one friend. Her name is Katie. She got adopted. Um, yeah, her family just kind of sent her over here to America. And she got adopted, right? Well, she got adopted by a family that that's daughter just died. Now, I know you guys are thinking, oh, great, another dead death story. But it, it's the truth. Her daughter died, and she had blonde hair, and she was really pretty. Now, the, the girl that they adopted had black hair, was darker colored, and not as very... It's, she's really not that beautiful. She's pretty, yeah, yeah, not really, but... And so anyway, they made her have... They started making her wear a wig, and dressing her up in, her, in their old kids' clothes. Do you see where I'm going with this? They practically used her to bring their kid back to life, though it really was never the same child. I feel sorry for her, and I actually pray for her every night. I just hope she gets better one day. But help them out every once in a while. And do what they say, and they won't get mad at you. So next time your family yells at you, gets mad at you, grounds you, doesn't let you go to a party with somebody, don't get mad at them. Just tell them you're sorry and thank them. Because I promise you, they'll be surprised when you thank them. They'll be like, wait, what? I just grounded you and you're thanking me? What the heck? But yeah. Now that that topic's over, we have to talk about, really we don't have to talk about anything at all, but I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about me and my beliefs, because I don't really think anyone understands, and nobody does, and it's kind of hard to tell somebody like my grandfather, and he's a preacher, or 
Christian believes it, a Baptist church. And I don't exactly believe what he teaches. And then he tries to get me in youth groups and but I don't I don't believe in that. Exactly. <clears throat> you see I take every single religion and I I study each one. I think each one is cool. Um, it's kind of hard to explain because it's not like I care about one kind. I kind of like them all because they all they all make sense in some ways, and then they all have some of their more of a doubts and. But I just want you all to know that I'm not atheist. Because I do believe, I don't think I'm just some snob butt face that goes around saying, Hey man, I don't, I'm, I know better more than you because I'm all scientific -y and crap. But no. If you ever watch the show Bones, I'm kind of like her. I go by the scientific methods, but I don't go down on you guys, your guys' beliefs. You get what I'm saying? Because I've, got, I've gotten some criticism from that. And they're like, you don't talk about that, but I know I might say God a lot, you know, and talk about that a lot. Doesn't mean I believe it. Just means I'm saying that so that my family and stuff don't, doesn't really know what I think. But they're probably going to see this, so this is going to suck. It's going to suck monkey butt. Um... Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I don't really have much to talk about. But, um, I am just wanting you all to know your family loves you. Your family. Your, your family freaking loves you guys. A lot. Or they should. And if your family doesn't love you, I love you. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what language you speak. I don't care what race you are. I don't give a crap. Even if you're a Mexican that does drugs and gets drunk every night and steals and mugs people off the street for freaking money and, like, doesn't even spend it on anything but cigarettes and weed and crack and, and crap like that and you have to use internet at Starbucks to watch this vid, I don't care. I don't care. I love you. I love you guys. I love you all. I got my eye on you. I don't love you like that, but I love you like a family member. So if family's not there for you, I am. And trust me, I'm I might not seem like I'm very old. I'm not very old at all. But I might seem I might look older and I might sound really five year oldish. But I promise you, if you have a real problem to talk about I'm a good person to talk to, and if you, you all know my number, 914-573-7447, so if you have anything you want to talk to me about, or anything else, you got me. Well, I gotta go now, but peace y'all. Yep.